here we have a rectangular prism. And a rectangular prism, of course, is just a three-dimensional rectangle. It's like a box in a way, where the bottom shape is a rectangle, the top shape is a rectangle, and the surface in between is made up of other rectangles. And this is a right rectangular prism because, well, the angle here that forms the base right to the lateral surface is 90 degrees. It's not like a slanted or tilted um, angle there. So anyway, to find the volume of this rectangular prism, all we need to do right is multiply the, the width, the length, the width, the length, and the height. Uh, and this idea is something we explore in many videos, but really essentially all you're doing is when you multiply the width by the length, you find the area of the, the base. And you can say, well, in, when you multiply it by a height, what you're asking is, okay, well, how many layers of that base, right? If we were to picture it as being a layer of height one or something, how many layers of that, of that base would fit in this shape? This is the idea of three-dimensional volume, right? Comparing layers. So the answer is, well, six layers, right? Because the height is six. So we multiply. Four by five by six. And that gives us 30 times four, which is, of course, well, what's 30 times four? Think of three times four, 12 or 120. And we're multiplying centimeters by centimeters by centimeters. So we have cubic centimeters, but I like writing that as centimeters to the third power. Same thing. Now, what about this shape? Well, over here what we have is a rectangular pyramid. And sometimes you'll have a square pyramid or um, there's, all, there's all kinds of pyramids, I guess. But, but here, this is not a square pyramid. It's a rectangular pyramid because we look at the base to determine the name. And the base can be thought of as this rectangle at the bottom. Because it's a rectangle at the bottom, we call it a rectangular pyramid. That's it. If it was a square on the bottom, we call it a square pyramid. Now, to find the volume of the, the pyramid, uh, and this is something I'm not going to really prove here, but just talk about, is that this pyramid, since it has the same base and height, here's the height right here, it's the same base and height as this rectangular prism, right? we can say and use the, the wonderful fact that it will take three of these pyramids to fit in this rectangular pyramid. right? If I was to try and sketch it out a little bit here, here's the our blue pyramid. You can always picture that the points are coming up, right? It fits nicely inside. The tricky part, of course, is how many pyramids. But if you know or have thought about this before, it, it would take three, not just two pyramids, but three to actually fit in this rectangular pyramid. There's enough empty space for two other full pyramids to fit. Well, then, then all you have to do to find the volume of this shape is divide this volume by three, right? So the rectangular pyramid equals... 120 centimeters cubed cut in three. It's one third of the rectangular prism. That's just 40 centimeters cubed. Now in general, what you can say is that the rectangular pyramid, sorry to go over the place here, but what it equals is the volume of a rectangular prism with equal height and the same area base divided by three. That's the key. This won't work, of course, if the, if the rectangle is a different height, then it will have a different relationship or if the dimensions of the base are different. And this problem is a little tricky, I think, only because, and maybe I'm, I'm just looking at it this way, but these bases are the same measurements, 4x5 five and 4x5, five, but they might look a little different because of the spacing. But this base will fit perfectly in here. So there's a nice relationship. Take the rectangular prism, cut it in three, and you have a rectangular pyramid. Thanks.